In this video, I want to start to talk about how we can actually derive blue estimators in the presence of heteroscedasticity. And those blue estimators actually happen to be GLS. So first of all, let's state our model. So in matrix form, we assume that we have y being equal to x times beta plus our vector of our errors u. And here we're going to assume that we actually have some form of heteroscedasticity. So we're going to assume that the variance of y given x is just going to be equal to sigma squared times a diagonal matrix omega, which I'm actually not going to specify. And notice that I can write variance of y given x because the only thing that varies in the right hand side of this expression is actually going to be u. So the variance of y given x is the same thing as the variance of u given x in this particular model. Okay, so we know that beta hat OLS, or the expression for beta hat OLS, is just equal to x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed times y. And furthermore, we can actually come up with an expression for the variance of beta hat OLS. So the variance of our OLS estimator, beta hat OLS, given x, is just equal to x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed times the variance of y given x times x times x primed x to the power minus 1. And the reason it takes this form, even though sort of mentioned it in the last few videos, I want to actually just sort of rehash what I said before. This is because the variance of a constant matrix A times a random vector x is just equal to A times the variance of that random vector x times A prime. And that's just the rule which I've used here, except it looks a little bit more complicated because A here isn't just a single matrix, it's actually this sort of product here. But it if you go through the rules, you get exactly this which is stated below just by following this above rule here. Furthermore, if we were to assume that we did have homoscedastic errors, so remember homoscedastic errors is if we replace this matrix omega by the identity matrix. So if we had homoscedasticity, we can already write out what our form of our variance is. Our variance of beta hat OLS given that we have our matrix of our independent variables x, is just equal to x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed, or then it's going to be just sigma squared times i, so I'm actually going to take the sigma squared out because it's just a constant and put it at the front, and then i I'm going to have operating on this matrix x here, so I'm just going to have the matrix x, and then it's going to be times x primed x to the power minus 1. And notice here that I've got x primed x times its inverse, x primed x to the power minus 1. So they're just going to cancel. And we're going to be left with the variance of beta hat OLS is equal to sigma squared times x primed x to the power minus 1. And notice that this was under the assumption that we have homoscholastic errors. In the next video, I'm going to derive the expression for beta hat OLS in the presence of heteroscedastic errors, and I'm going to compare the two expressions.